Analysts are saying XRP could reach $11. Crypto.com joins the World Economic Forum. Mastercard is battling crypto fraud. Ethereum ETFs are up for discussion. And so much more that has happened in the last week. So welcome back again. I'm Theo, a content creator for the Alt Crypto Talk team. And in this video, we'll go through all of the most important and latest crypto news that has happened in the last seven days. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice. Purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. And be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have any any questions whatsoever and be sure to follow us on twitter at alt crypto gems for daily crypto content and check out our website for frequent guides project reviews articles and everything crypto related okay guys let's jump straight into the video now ladies and gentlemen let's start off with the first article which is amazing mastercard is doubling down on the effort to detect and tackle crypto fraud with ai tire now this is absolutely huge mastercard is enormous in the world of finance and obviously we need some help with crypto fraud in our world of web3 now let's see what this article from cnbc themselves have to say mastercard is doubling down on its efforts to detect and prevent fraud that rooted through cryptocurrency exchanges the company told cnbc exclusively that it's partnered with feedza a regulatory technology platform Form that aims to combat money laundering and financial scams online using AI. Through the partnership, Feedzai will integrate directly with Mastercard's Cypher Trace and Armada platform, which is used to help banks monitor transactions from over 6,000 crypto exchanges for fraud, money laundering, and other suspicious activity. Cypher Trace Armada will be embedded directly in Feedzai's technology rather than access through an API or application programming interface, with Feedzai's inhaling the data to enable real time alerts about suspicious crypto transactions. This will increase fraud detection by protecting unwary customers, but will also detect potential money laundering activity and mule accounts. Mule accounts are accounts of users that fraudsters exploit to launder their ill-gotten funds. So an estimated 40% of scam transactions exit directly from a bank account to a crypto exchange today, according to Feedzai data. The tie-up will give MasterCard access to Feedzai's artificial intelligence smarts. Feedzai says its software can identify and block suspicious transactions in a matter of nanoseconds, but also recognize transactions that are legitimate. Feedzai's risk ops platform analyzes transactions worth over $1.7 trillion annually. Co-headquartered in Coimbra in Portugal and San Mateo, California in Silicon Valley, the firm holds close to 100 patents and secures an average of 10 patents per year to safeguard its technology. That is nuts. Numerous banks that believe they are preventing illegitimate cryptocurrency transactions are in fact only blocking transactions involving the widely recognized and regulated entities within the crypto space and omitting the rest. Crypto entering the mainstream. The move marks a push from MasterCard into the market for legitimizing crypto as a mainstream financial asset that can be subjected to the same rules and compliance frameworks as traditional assets, obviously such as cash, gold, silver, and so on. Banks and other large financial institutions have shown increased interest in experimenting with crypto in their products and services. But the next step, deploying commercially available crypto products as part of their core offerings, has proven more elusive. Banks have been weary of digital assets' lack of comprehensive regulations and applications in fraud and scams. Last year, the amount of theft and scams led to a global increase of 79% in crypto-related losses from the previous year, according to data from blockchain analysis firm Chain Analysis. Illicit addresses has received $14 billion in 2022 year over year, almost twice what they had received in 2020. Mastercard's vast network is used by banking institutions worldwide to process and monetize payments, as we will probably know. The company competes with fellow payment giants like Visa, which is also in the business of supporting card payments, among other fintech services. In the UK, banks have shown hesitation when it comes to being associated with crypto. I can definitely agree with that. Several larger lenders have halted transactions with crypto exchanges on their networks, citing the risk of fraud. Top banks, including JP Morgan, NatWest and HSBC have restricted or blocked crypto transactions. This led to criticisms from Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong, who said the development jarred with the UK's ambition to become a global Web3 hub. Completely agree. They are absolutely destroying the UK when it comes to crypto. I might even just have to move out this country sooner or later. Who knows? AJ Bala, president of Cyber and Intelligence Solutions for Mastercard, told CNBC that the interconnectedness of life today and increasing digital penetration of finance has brought risk as well as opportunity. Our latest data shows fraud on transactions where people are buying crypto is five times higher than regular fiat transactions. Bala said via email, adding that with Mastercard's new tie-up with Feedzai, financial institutions will be able to tell good transactions from bad, and that's what's important. The partnership builds on Mastercard's deal to acquire US blockchain solution from CypherTrace. Mastercard bought CypherTrace in 2021, and the following year launched its first product using the firm's technology called CryptoSecure to analyze and block transactions from fraud-prone crypto exchanges. 
So that's the end of the article, guys. I think it's absolutely nuts that MasterCard are really getting involved in crypto, especially when it comes to fraud. They are trying to help the world of blockchain and Web3, so I'm all for MasterCard. They are for crypto, so I am for MasterCard. Guys, let's move on to the next article, which is absolutely huge, and that is Fidelity wanting to create an Ethereum ETF, joining BlackRock in doubling down on crypto. Wow, this is huge. So, money management giant Fidelity is seeking to create an exchange-traded fund that owns Ethereum, according to a Friday filing joining rival BlackRock in strengthening its crypto embrace. The Fidelity Ethereum fund would be listed by an exchange owned by Tebow Global Markets, which posted the fling that revealed the existence of the proposed product. But first, the US SEC must decide whether to approve the Ethereum ETF, as it must for others including one from BlackRock, which was revealed earlier this month. As we can see here guys, the exchange proposes to list and trust community-based trust shares, they are the seventh filer for spot Ethereum as far as I'm aware. This James Seifert said, here are the first six. So we can take a look at this tweet and we'll see that Vanek, 21 shares in ARK, Hashtech, Grayscale, Invesco and Galaxy and BlackRock all are listing for an Ethereum ETF. Once these are approved, guys, then Ethereum's definitely going to hit $10,000 and beyond. That's just my personal opinion. However, I do really, really see it happening. But let's go back to the article. Fidelity and BlackRock will also want to create ETFs that give investors easier access to even bigger cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, the SEC has yet to weigh in on those either. So, ETFs that hold Bitcoin or ETH, the biggest cryptocurrencies, could according to Optimist dramatically shake up the crypto market. They are generally easier to buy than crypto. A normal conventional brokerage account gives an investor access to all manner of ETFs, which trade just like stocks and track assets ranging from the whole stock market to gold, corn, and sugar. That could, in theory, bring in a flood of new investment money into digital assets, particularly with the marketing heft of famous firms like Fidelity and BlackRock. I couldn't agree more. That's the end of the article. And guys, if this Ethereum ETF comes from BlackRock and Fidelity, we're going to make some big profit. Ethereum's going to pump hard and so will so many other altcoins. So guys, keep an eye on this. This is very important. This is key information. Let's move on to the next article, which is related. And that is the Ethereum price dilemma or buy signal before the 60% rally. So Ethereum price edges closer to breakout. The Ethereum price has set up three higher lows and three roughly equal highs since June 2022. Connecting these swing points using trend lines reveals an ascending triangle setup. A decisive weekly candlestick close above the triangle's horizontal resistance level at $2,000 will signal a breakout. In such a case, this technical formation forecasts a 43% rally to $2,943, obtained by measuring the distance between the first swing high and swing low to the breakout point of $2,000. Currently, Ethereum price sits above the momentum reversal indicator's MRI resistance level of 1936 and below the ascending triangle's horizontal resistance level. From the looks of it, ETH seems to have flipped the 1936 hurdle into a support floor. If Bitcoin price does not crash widely in the upcoming weeks, Ethereum price is set to break out and kickstart an upswing to 2943, but this move is likely to face resistance around the $2,539 hurdle, which served as a critical support level in March 2022. While 2943 is the theoretical target, ETH could rise higher and tag the next MRI resistance level of $3,180. $86, and this move would constitute a 60% gain, which would be absolutely delicious for all of us Ethereum holders. All of you should be Ethereum holders if you've been watching our videos for the last few months, or even year for that matter. Everything we've been doing really has been interacting with Ethereum or EVM compatible networks, or well, most of it anyway. Ethereum is a top tier asset that I definitely would hold in a crypto portfolio. Like I said guys, nothing is financial advice, purely my own opinion. But honestly guys, I think Ethereum is way better than a lot of stocks out there. There is so much potential. But on the other hand, if Ethereum price fails to stay above the 1936 support level, it could trigger a correction down to the 1795 support floor where buyers could give the breakout another go. But if this attempt fails and Ethereum price produces a weekly candlestick below 1547, it will create a lower low and invalidate the bullish thesis. In such case, ETH would slide as low as 1309. And guys, to be honest, I would actually like that because I want to buy in again. However, if this doesn't happen, that is just that and I'll be ready anyway. So, Let's move on to the next article, which is about XRP. And analysts are claiming that it is heading towards a parabolic move, even possibly towards $11, which these two articles will explain. So the price of XRP, the native currency of the XRP ledger, could be gearing up for a dramatic price surge, according to some analysts in the crypto space. One analyst highlighted was the blockchain backer who pointed to chart formations, suggesting Bitcoin is on the cusp of a major breakout above 40K. As Bitcoin often leads markets, an upside move for Bitcoin could precede increases across altcoins like XRP. Another analyst 
this credible crypto noted open interest continuing to fall as Bitcoin grinds upwards, indicating shorts being forced to cover due to an unrelenting spot bid. He believes the price action has accomplished its goal and Bitcoin is ready to continue our journey up to $40,000 plus very soon. Dark Defender, an XRP focused chart analyst, accurately predicted XRP hitting 60 to 70 cents on November 13th. He believes the recent correction XRP is poised to touch 87 cents to $1.05 in the very short term, stating XRP is close to a parabolic move. A parabolic move refers to a dramatic near vertical price increase over a short period of time, driven by surging demand and momentum. This type of price action is not uncommon in crypto markets during bull runs. Dark Defender cites XRP is holding key support levels around 60 cent despite recent volatility. Other analysts like E. Greg also see a break above 66 cents as a bullish signal that could mark the end of the current downward trend. So if we move over to the next article, which is related, these analysts are saying XRP could reach $11 in their projected timeline. The XRP forecast came from Challengely, a crypto trading platform. The brokerage firm bullish stance extends beyond the $11 forecast as it believes XRP can touch an ultimate all-time high price of approximately $26 by 2032. Now, although that is nine years away or eight years away even, that is a very big price point. One that even if it was priced at 60 cents now, I would be holding all that time. If I know that I'm going to be getting $26 per XRP coin, I'll be buying $1,000 worth of XRP right now and holding it till the year 2032. So the potential XRP growth catalyst, XRP has had a very impressive price action this year. Besides its current 0.92% slip to 61 cents, the digital currency has jumped as high as 78.9% since the start of the year. Notably, the Changeli's XRP $10 price projection indicates a 1700% surge from the current price level and ambitious feat for the coin. Additionally, if achieved, the $26 price projection by 2032 means XRP will have to grow by 4,154% from now until then. XRP maintains a rich history for price fluctuations as we saw in July when Judge Annalisa Torres declared that the programmatic sales of XRP on exchanges do not qualify as security offerings. This verdict pushed XRP price up to 70% to $0.82 cents, as it set a precedent that elated many investors in the industry at the time. Though prices have cooled, the implications of the ruling has a far-reaching implication that has boosted XRP's adoption by retail investors and by institutional players. Moreover, it's worth noting that despite the upshot recorded this year, XRP's price failed to cross the $1 threshold, implying that it will take a lot to achieve the Changeli projection. Adoption growing, price surge might follow. So all in all, guys, they're saying that XRP in the short term could reach $11. Well, not that short term, but fairly short. However, all in all, they're saying XRP will reach $26 by the year 2032. Very possible, guys. Who knows what the future holds? By the year 2030, I hope to see Ethereum at 150k, Bitcoin at a million, XRP at over $25, as well as many other crypto price predictions. Most people probably aren't thinking that long term. However, it's probably a good idea to do so, as crypto will be here for a very long time, and obviously you want to maximize your gains. So whether or not it will hit $11 or $26 in the near future is to be discovered. I personally think it will take a very long time for XRP to reach $26, probably around 2032. I'm all for an XRP pump, but I really don't see it. So let's move on to the next article where crypto.com has been admitted to the World Economic Forum. This, my friends, is absolutely enormous. The World Economic Forum basically ruled the world and crypto.com have joined that, that group. So the WEF is a non-profit foundation that brings together leaders to discuss and address global challenges. The organization has a long history of advocating for innovation and economic growth. The admission of crypto.com is a sign that cryptocurrencies will play a significant role in the global economy. So let's discover more about this news. Why does the WEF accept crypto.com? The news of crypto.com's admission to the WEF has been met with enthusiasm by the cryptocurrency community. Many people see it as a sign that mass adoption of cryptocurrencies is closer than ever. There are some reasons why crypto.com's admission to the WEF is significant. It shows that the WEF is taking cryptocurrency seriously. The WEF is a highly respected organization and its endorsement of cryptocurrency is a positive development for the industry. The WEF has a global reach. Its members include leaders from all over the world. Crypto.com's admission to the WEF will help to raise awareness of cryptocurrencies among a wider audience. The WEF is committed to innovation. Obviously, innovation is key in the world of crypto. It is a leading forum for discussing and developing new technologies. Crypto.com's admission to the WEF will give the company access to a network of thought leaders and innovators. Some other reasons why mass crypto adoption is closer. The admission of crypto.com to the WEF is not a guarantee that mass adoption of cryptocurrencies is imminent. However, it is a positive development that shows that the cryptocurrency currency industry is gaining acceptance for the world's leading global economic institutions. Here are some other reasons. The number of people using crypto has been growing rapidly in recent years. This trend is likely to continue as more people become aware of the benefits of crypto. Crypto infrastructure is improving. The infrastructure that supports crypto, for example, crypto exchanges and wallets are improving all the time. This is making it easier
easy for people to buy, sell and use cryptocurrencies. Governments are becoming more open to crypto. Some governments around the world are becoming more open to cryptocurrencies. This is due in part to the growing popularity of cryptocurrencies, as well as the realization that cryptocurrencies can have a positive impact on the economy. Overall, the admission of crypto.com to the WEF is a positive development for the crypto industry. It is a sign that the WEF is taking cryptocurrencies seriously and is starting to recognize their potential. It is also a sign that mass adoption of cryptocurrencies is closer than ever. Guys, this is very true. The World Economic Forum is no joke. Crypto.com to join that list is absolutely huge. Coinbase, Ethereum haven't even joined that list. So Crypto.com to do that is absolutely mad. And I'm absolutely bullish on Crypto.com as well as the Cronus token Crow, but also crypto in general. Now guys, that's pretty much it for this video. As you can see, the crypto market cap is still sitting at around $1.41 trillion. It doesn't really look like we're going to hit $2 trillion at the end of this year. However, if the Ethereum ETF is approved, the Bitcoin ETF is approved, then 1 million percent will hit the $2 trillion market cap. The volume is pretty high this weekend, actually, guys, at $40 billion on a Monday morning, which is actually pretty good. Normally, it's sitting around $15 to $20 billion volume, so I'll take that as a bullish sign. Bitcoin dominance is at 51.4%, while Ethereum is at 17.1%, and all the other altcoins are taking the rest. Now, Ethereum gas fee is at 88 quid, guys, which is ridiculously expensive. I would completely avoid the Ethereum network at the moment if you are trying to use it, as you're going to be spending a lot on gas fees. You'll probably end up spending around 30 to 40 dollars per transaction if you are trying to swap tokens. So wait for the GUI to hit around 15 to 20, and you should be good to go. The fear and greed index is sitting at a good point still, guys. We are at 74, hinting at a greedy market and a more of a bullish sign. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have any questions. What's Whatsoever. Don't forget to follow Jules, aka Alt Crypto Gems, the legend on Twitter. Don't forget to follow Alt Crypto Talk on Twitter and join the Discord. And if you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter at Hi Crypto Guy. But guys, thank you so much for watching again. And we also have a promotion running on Bybit, the best centralized exchange platform for buying, trading, and earning. Bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies, and you can claim up to four thousand three hundred eighty dollars just by signing up using the link in the description below. It's simple. If you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews, crypto guides and more. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time, DGENs.